Hey, what's up guys? It is Ben 10,000 Wajio, your friendly neighborhood Yu-Gi-Oh! superhero. And today, guys, I'm giving you a video talking about the reprints that are coming out in the new up-and-coming set, Toon Chaos. So, this video is going to be a little different from my normal content. I do normally like to do conversations with other creators and, you know, do deck profiles with funny skits. However, I felt that uh, we needed to talk about these reprints because there are some interesting ones in Toon Chaos that I uh, am very interested in. And I kind of wanted to talk about it and uh, give you guys kind of some different kind of content. So you guys can tell me what you think of this uh, top 10 reprints of uh, Toon Chaos. Well, I wouldn't say top 10. These are just 10 that I'm interested in. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And the first card that I think we have to go ahead and get out of the way is very simply put... Pot of Extravagance. This card, getting its reprint finally, is probably something that everyone is very excited about. I mean, even I'm stoked to try to get it, uh, pending on what rarity it is, like, and all that stuff. I, because I haven't looked into it, to be honest, at the point of making this video, but, <laughs> uh, I, and I don't think it'll be an easily sought after card, but it'll be interesting to see, uh, you know, if the, how this affects the value of the card, because Pot of Extravagance as well. <laughs> in the name extravagance so i had to go ahead and, and put it on the list but i felt it needed to be up uh on the front because let's face it a lot of players are going to be excited for this card especially with the chance to kind of get it a little bit cheaper even if your deck isn't going to be on the budget side it'll be nice to save save a few button a few dollars comparatively at least we'll and we'll see how that affects the market but i imagine this reprint will obviously be cheaper than the original print uh the next card is another draw card Pot of Desires. Pot of Desires is another really good draw card. Simple cost. Not every deck can play it, but I do know that um, like Blue Eyes players have played it in the past, and I personally am always excited to get a, a, a draw, another draw spell reprint. Uh, Pot of Desires is just another really good reprint. It's like, look, if your deck needs a draw spell and it doesn't have one for your particular deck, this is this one's an okay one to play. It's a great two of for a lot of decks, especially if you you can also take advantage of the banishing uh, aspect of it, like say in a Grand Maju type of deck, you know, or a Necrophase shenanigans. There you go, guys. Great draw card for you. Uh, on the next one we have on the list is another card I'm excited for, Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End. This one's a personal one that I'm excited is getting reprinted in this set because... Uh, well, one, we need a, another reprint with the new, with the updated text, and two, uh, I don't have a copy of this card, so I'm hoping that it'll be cheap out of Toon Chaos, uh, because that way I can get a hold of one and uh, use it for maybe a future Blue Eyes build. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to go the Chaos route, to be honest, but having this card be reprinted means it's searchable off of Melody, and it's another, like I said, it's a, it's let's face it, it's going to be cheaper than Levionir, for sure. Levionir's, you know, probably the better Chaos Dragon, to be honest, but uh, it's just going to be nice to have another option to have, especially if it's going to be dark. Uh, the next one we have is this counterpart, BLS. I mean, look, if you're playing light and darks in your deck, I mean, this guy is still a badass boss monster, even to this day. Being able to kill two monsters, 3,000 attack, be able to banish, a, you know, a monster on the field, I mean, that's that's pretty good that's i mean obviously the i mean and they had to put it in this set because the the boss monster is this two guys tune counterpart which is a little stronger than he is but you know this monster is still a decent monster to play especially if your deck already contains light and dark monsters and with hand traps like effect failure or and or ghost ogre that are light targets and uh dd crow as a dark target i mean you have plenty of targets to that are hand traps that are going to help your strategy if you need this card to be a boss monster for your particular deck. Uh, another one on the list that I'm hoping for is kind of another one that I kind of want for my own personal Blue Eyes deck and the Sun Sonophone Sound Sum number 68. I'm not even going to try to say his name. The Sky Prison. Just the idea of like blocking cards from getting summoned from the graveyard seems pretty good to me. Um, oh, excuse me. Yeah, you can block cards from summoning from the graveyard. I was making sure I did read that right. And then, of course, you detach Mr. to the opponent's next turn. This card cannot be destroyed. By yeah, it's another card that can be destroyed by card effects. It could be useful uh, if you're up against, I don't know what particularly. It would be all that dangerous. But hey, it's another rank 8, and it's a dark monster. 
that's kind of fitting in with this chaos theme, which we're probably going to see a lot more chaos, especially after the set tune chaos. <laughs> but yeah, the sky prison's the one that I'm actually interested in experimenting with and seeing what kind of shenanigans I can come up with. I'm sure there will be other uh, plays that can go with this card. I don't know what they are off the top of my head, but I'm excited to come up with them. So, And the next one we have is the, the Gamma Package, basically. Um, let's face it, hand traps have, are, an, are an integral part in the game as it currently stands. If they're not going anywhere, as much as we all tend to be mildly annoyed by hand traps, they're here to stay. So the fact that they reprinted the Cyframe package in here I think is good. It's another uh, cheap option to add to a deck. And let's face it, guys, uh, being able, we're going to need all these. Uh, going forward into the game, I think we're going to be needing more hand traps, or at least the reprints of them, I should say. Because our decks are just going to need a way to fight back. And especially for us more casual players, we need something to kind of even, even out the playing field. Some of the reprints from this set are very much going to do that. Not to the point where I'm thinking anything will be tier one. But I definitely think that the, the reprints will add cheap options for other people so more players can can keep up. And this is just one of those examples of those kinds of cards. Uh, another one I'm excited for is Mud Dragon. Super Poly Target. Two monsters, same attribute, different typing. That's really not that hard in this game. I mean, literally, if anyone plays a monster, um, if you play any kind of deck that is, you know, fusion-based, like sh Shadals or anything like that, you know, and your opponent plays um, them, say you're, you're playing Shadals, your opponent plays Dinos. Oviraptor's going to hit the field, and you're going to go, Super Poly! Um, or if you're playing the Mech Knight Invoked or whatever, wait for an ultimate Conductor Tyranno, boom, with a Mech Knight, boom, make Swamp Dragon, <laughs> as an example. I'm sure there are other plays that I'm not thinking of, but this guide is, is a very generic... Um, Super Poly Target also is an instant fusion target, so if you need another way to get a level 4 water monster from your extra deck. Also, this guy has the ability to change his type, or, or not his type, change his attribute, which can be useful depending on the deck you're up against. Being able to block off targeting for a specific attribute is pretty powerful. So, I definitely think you Mud Dragon of the Swamp is a great reprint and much needed one. Next one we have is for the heroes, Mask Hero Acid. I'm hoping this card will be cheap personally because my favorite elemental hero is Absolute Zero and I have never gotten a chance outside of Edo Pro to make the Absolute Zero Acid combo where you take out a whole board. Seems really fun and oftentimes when I build my personal hero decks I don't get to use this card because I don't own a copy of it um, and the idea that this card is getting reprinted is, seems very appealing to me and maybe give me a chance to finally get to do combos like that. So, that's something I'm personally excited for, uh, being able to have the rest of the combo and wipe out the back row, too, for my personal collection of cards. Next one we have is another hero, Mask Hero Blast. Uh, this card is another back row hating card, basically. That's that's the primary function that, I mean, yeah, he can half a monster's attack and you'll, you'll never use it, but the point of summoning this guy is just to have another... Uh, card to help take out back row which is mildly appeal to me um the like acid taking out the back row is important heroes are very um they don't do very well against back row based decks in my opinion without if you don't without using the cards that actually target the back row that were blast and acid kind of come into play so without them i feel like a hero deck is very hindered and it's great to have a repent uh, this guy was previously and only available and through the Shonen Jump thing, and the, now he's not. So now we're gonna be able. Everybody's gonna get a chance at him, and I like it. And uh, last but not least, the, the card that I am most excited for: True King Lithosigem of the Disaster. Now this is the card that I'm gonna spend the most time talking about it because this is the card I'm most excited for, and the reason why is because I'm primarily a dinosaur player, and this gives me hope that this card could come back. Now, uh, granted, a lot of people are, are saying that we're probably going to lose Calamities. I'm okay with that personally. Losing Calamities isn't all that gr important to me. As a dinosaur player, I primarily prefer to... 
um, you know, make Lagia or Dolka over Calamities, because uh, because they're just easier to make. So, if later down the line Konami's going to take Calamities away and give us Lithosagem back to three, oh man. <laughs> Dinosaurs will finally, especially True King Dinos, will be a deck worth playing again. For me personally. Um, the social gym works the best with the baby dinosaurs, which means even if they do a limitation on Oviraptor, giving this back will still allow uh, the dinosaur players to potentially plus and keep playing the game, uh, allowing us to stay in. So I, I don't think Konami's going to do that, to be honest, but it's, uh, but it's a good hope that this card will come back so I definitely will be picking up a copy so I'll, to complete my play set so I'll have a play set for me personally and that's where picking up with dosage and the disaster will be important for me but that's the card I'm most excited for is having a cheaper copy of this card and uh, yeah anyway guys these are the 10 reprints that I am most stoked for coming out of Toon Chaos if you guys are interested in any reprints maybe ones that I didn't didn't talk on make sure you put that in the comments below let people know some other interesting strategies maybe you're looking forward to trying uh if there's anything that i missed make sure you're also you put that in the comments below and if there's anything you want to see on the channel also add that if you guys want to support the channel check out my teespring you can buy a t-shirt <laughs> and support the channel that'll help me hopefully get a hold of a few of the cards that were on this list and uh yeah i'm your friendly Yu-Gi-Oh superhero i'll catch you in the next one peace